Hello there. Welcome back to our section. We our focus is still on the host based attack, all right? And today we'll talk about alternate data streaming. In this case, um without any further ado, we move. So what is this alternate data streaming um, per se? So over time, we tend to use a different method to execute commands as a, an attacker, but this is basically focused on Windows, these uh, alternate data streams. So, you know, antivirus, when you upload uh, malicious software, malicious code or what have you to a window system or probably on a flash inserted into a window system, it takes it out or deletes it because of its signature, all right? So in this case, what we want to do is how we can invade this uh, detection policy. But this is more like a vulnerability on Windows where you can hide system in, um, file into files to avoid invasion by a low level antiviruses that uses signature to perform its activity. All right, so, you know, the NFTS module is really like a, a module that whenever you want to, maybe you want to install a, a OS operation system, all right, or you want to do a whole lot of uh, Privilege installation with a flash sheet when you can format with NFTS so that you'll be able to install this particular operating system. So now any file that's created with on an NFT formatted drive, we have two different streams. You know, the data stream that uh, contains the file and the resource stream. Those are the two stream that you have on uh, NTF, NTFX formatted drive. So this technique is usually used to invade uh, detection. So let me just show you how it's really been done in a nutshell, all right? So let's go. I'll be using my um, base system for this particular tutorial where you can uh, see how it's been done. So really this is the command prompt of a Windows system. So um, let's, let's get into business where for example, you just do want to use a method, let's say a notepad. Let's, let's go into the store. Oh, sorry. All right, let's do. Let me just go. Let me just go directly by um, creating. Yes. So in this case, let's say we want to create a a note a notepad notepad a notepad file. So we do notepad say test. The TST. So apparently it gives us option on how to open this, you know, it's, because it's, it's not a, an existing file. It's going to tell us if we want to create a new file. If we say yes, then it has been corrected. You know, can you say hello? Hello, my viewers. Just like that. So what, what happens if you do if you do something like 
Like what happens if we do something like notepad? Text TST and secret. This is a different scenario, even though each text has like an existing file that has been there, all right? But it is not existing. So what, what, what is happening here is that we want to have a test in a test, if that is understandable, in a way that for someone that is opening test.txt, all is seen is test.txt until I come to the command prompt and do test.txt column, the other name of the file hidden. But I, I would you even know if a file is hidden for you to do that, yeah? So basically, in this is test.txt and you say, um, hello, hello world. and you save. Let's say we close this. Notepad. Test. Did you see we have an empty, empty test of TST because we never said anything. Let's say, hello you. And we save. Let's see, we'll close. Let's see. Did you see LOU? For any case that we, we do this, can you see the difference? In the same test file, we have a different. Um, we have a test in a test. So for an antivirus, when they see stuff like this, they only see test.txt, oh, okay, test.txt. They never knew that was an attachment or let's say in a case of a, a file in between. So, these are scenarios where you can you can uh, execute an uh, alternate stream in a system. You, you know we have we have test or TST. We can do test or TST and just instead of test we can do calculator dot esc. We should be saved. So you know I've embedded calculator in it. And when you do when you have a scenario where you have to call this, this is not gonna work because over time um Windows have updated and changed some things. But we can create a symbolic link that when we say link, link mm, card, but yes, then we're going to look for the for the five part. I want to copy the file part. I know about this. Not this, not this, not this. 
copy as part. Okay. Because we don't have, because I'm using the, um, let me use the administrator um, privilege to perform this. This is the administrator privilege and can create our link. You know, it already exists because we've created one. Or in the case that it does not exist, it's going to tell you it has not been, it's not, it has not existed. And with this case, once you do, let's say, let's just go calculator. It's going to come up because we've created the link. And for peradventure, it's a virus or peradventure, it's something they, um, like a, a, a payload, really, that is how exactly you are going to execute them exactly as going to happen and it's going to be, can be distract, distractors because the antivirus can primarily might not be able to dictate it based on the signature that it is uh, allocated to it. So we have successfully completed this section where we understood the uh, internet streaming and how we can, in a way, uh, invade the uh, antivirus, the simple antivirus, which is a signature based. Thank you and see you next time.